Hey campers, I'm Jonathan. I'm the camp beekeeper here at Camp Wincombe Mason. And it's a beautiful day out, so it's a great day for visiting the bees and seeing how they're doing. So let's go check it out. Today, it's the fall. And so as a beekeeper, I'm thinking a lot about prepping these hives for winter. So one of the things, if you, if you look over here, we have some wraps in the hives. And the goal of that is really to keep hives uh, warm in the winter. It's been unseasonably warm, which is great for inspecting the hives. We don't want them to get uh, overheated, but this will help them make it through the winter. Beekeepers will do almost anything to see if they can help their hives get through winter. It feels warm today, but typically it would be very chilly. And so it's not all too early to begin wrapping. What I want to do is, this is a, a nice, easy custom wrap. Um, but what I want to do is I want to make sure that the hive can access the bottom entrance and the top entrance. So as beekeepers, when we're out working with our bees, we're very opportunist. Right now that top entrance was blocked. So we use a very high tech solution where we take our, our handy dandy stick and we uh, you can give it a little little space so those beads, if we if we come and look down, uh, can hop out that top. So this wrapping, uh, because it's black, is going to absorb sunlight. We have beautiful sun, and we'll have that throughout the winter. Uh, and in addition, it provides just a little bit of insulation that helps those bees stay warm. If you're interested in bees, what I highly recommend is you want to go find somebody who has bees and you want to try it. And you want to work with somebody who's done beekeeping before. There's a couple cool bee clubs around the area. One of them is the Milwaukee Waukesha Beekeepers Association. We have a bee yard and we invite people to come out and try bees. So if you want to just get your feet wet, um, join a bee club or come out to camp just to see a little bit of what it's like. 